I'm here at the Grey Fox booth at BGGCon 2014 uh, with Shane and Joshua, and they're here to talk about their third game, Draco Magi. So Draco Magi is a uh, two-player, head-to-head, -head competitive card game. Um, I'm going to let Josh explain the rules of the game, because he does a much better job of that than I do. However, before Josh explains the rules, I, what I want to really focus on is uh, the art for this game. Uh, what really kind of turned us on to this, uh, this is a game by Robert Burke and Richard Lanius, and um, it was uh, published in conjunction with Robert Burke Games. Um, so when Robert showed me this game, uh, before I played it, um, I was really hoping that the gameplay was going to be good because the art is just simply amazing. Um, some of the dragons for the game, if you want to take a look at the dragons, they're just absolutely gorgeous uh, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, so I'm into it. And uh, yeah, excellent. And, um, you know, uh, on top of the art being gorgeous, the game is uh, very, very good. So I'm going to let Josh explain the rules a little bit and how it's played. And um, to you, Josh. All right. Uh, so like Shane said, this is a, uh, a heads-up game. It's a two-player game where each player takes on the role of an, uh, an apprentice mage, uh, an apprentice Draco Magi. And thematically, uh, their master has died, and they're vying for the role of being the new Dragon Mage. Um, players do that by sending their dragons to various battlefields um, and contesting the battlefields. And the idea is that when you claim that battlefield, you get the source of power there, which is a colored gem. Uh, they come in a series of, uh, I think it's five different colors. Uh, and the game is essentially a race to be the first player to claim three different gems, three of the same gems, or any four gems. Um, this game is a, is a really tight heads-up game that has a lot of sort of back and forth and interplay, a tug of war for these battlefields. Uh, it breaks down into essentially two phases. Um, the placement phase has players playing their dragons to the battlefields and then resolving ranged attacks against one another. And the ranged attacks uh, are basically resolved with uh, a battle deck that players start with. Um, you flip a certain amount of cards and based on the number of starbursts on the cards, it shows you how many hits you've got. The defender will then respond and try and defend those hits. Once the players have played their dragons uh, down to the various battlefields, you move on to the melee phase, and then using those battle cards, uh, it becomes a back and forth hand management game where you're trying to string together combos of bites and claws and magic attacks uh, to defeat the other dragons and claim the battlefield for yourself. Um, the deck starts symmetrical, but at the beginning of this game, the players do a mini draft from this advanced battle deck and add more powerful cards into their deck. And you know a little bit about what you have, you know a little bit about what your opponent has, but now you have some asymmetry to the game. And every round, as the mages gain experience, they add more cards, uh, more advanced battle cards to their deck and drive the conflicts to more massive proportions. Uh, it plays in about 30 minutes uh, for two players, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And how difficult would you say the game is to like, pick up and learn? Oh, I think it's it's really approachable. The first playtime is a little bit slow because each of the dragons has a differing effect, so you end up reading them and learning them the first game, but the core mechanics are teachable in 5-10 minutes. The rule book is only a few pages long, uh, and you can be playing in just a couple of minutes, and then after your first play, the strategy of the different dragons really becomes relevant, so there's a, a depth that emerges. Yeah, I think one of the things that I really like about the game, too, is it feels unique. Like, it doesn't feel like any other game. The way the battles take place... Um, just feels very. Uh, it's hard, you know. It's it, if, if there's any if there's any difficulty in learning the game, it's it's probably because it doesn't have um, something to really compare it to, which I think is good. I love games with that feel different and unique and new. I agree. Excellent. Thanks for that, guys. Thanks, baby.